Hey, Mom. I have another haul. Uh, so I've got two bags today. One of them is um, going to be kind of boring, so I'm doing two bags at once. But let's get started because I don't have a lot of time right now. Uh, I don't have my watch on me, so I keep like, checking to see what time it is, and I don't know. Uh, so, how have you been? Hope you're good. Okay. Uh, first thing I got is a, um, actually, I think it, it looks like two. How many are in here? I don't know how many are here. It's a USB-C to USB adapter. So you can plug... Oh yeah, it's just two, two of them. So you can plug your USB adapter, which I don't know if you can see that in the, I'm really not good at, there we go. You can plug that in and then get USB-C connections in the other end. So I'm excited about these. Go, go eat your burrito. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I got a plug for the X that you just plug into the wall and it's also got USB-C. So this is the difference. This is USB and that's USB-C. In case you guys were not aware of what I was talking about with the last one, that's the difference. But this one you just plug into the wall and you can plug a USB-C right in. Cool. Um, let's see. I got this really cute little brooch, which is, Veritigo, eat your burrito, please. It's done from the microwave. Which, once again, jewelry. Just not showing up here. But I'm going to show it to you anyway because it's adorable. It's a pretty little flower with a bee on it and I love it. These look different than I thought they would. I thought they would be plastic, but they look very much metal. So these are like fidget things. So you can put them on your fingers and just like roll them up and down your finger. And it's quiet, like, uh, here's the microphone. You can't hear it. So I was thinking I might like send one of these like with my son to school cause he's a little bit fidgety. And I don't know if this would help. I don't know if it would be a problem, but Maybe I'll just use them all. There's a whole bunch of different colors. There's black, blue, red, green, and gold. So, um, but I like this. I like fidget things. I tend to um, tap my legs. Oh, I got more of the USB-C adapters. I got two two packs, so. And here's another USB-C power adapter because I bought all those MagSafe things and all of them were a USB-C chargers and none of them were, um, that looks safe. That, that packaging right there looks safe, doesn't it? Uh, so we'll see if this is still functional. This is for behind my couch. There's a plug and the way that this is supposed to work is it's got like an extender here so plug extender, but it's also got like things that you can plug in. And it has, that was probably necessary. I don't even know what it was. It's a screw that's behind me. Uh, it's also got like this little shelf. So like if you want to charge your iPad or something, you could just set it on top of the shelf. And you could, this one is such a big shelf that you could put several electronics on there all at once. So that is really cool. I'm looking forward to this. Um, and it's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be installed. Yes. What I dropped was a screw and it actually has like a little screw hole here so you can screw it into the wall so it doesn't fall off. Cause obviously if you're charging your tablet on top of this little shelf, you don't want it to just fall off. So how many packages? I don't know. Sometimes you just need to slow down in life guys. Okay. These, so these are, I'm actually really excited about these. Um, I'm wondering if these will make it better for me to wash dishes. Uh, this, that's what I'm gonna use them for. I think they're actually supposed to be used for like when you're doing your makeup or washing your face, but you just put them on your wrist and then you don't get water like running down your arm. So I think I'm gonna wear them while I'm washing dishes and that will make it less annoying for me to wash dishes. So I'm super excited about these. I don't know why I took them off. This is, this is how I do, I uh, I just put everything on. Is there anything else in here? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is 
a skirt and it's really pretty For some reason i got a size extra low don't know what size that actually is but you know the nice thing is if it's too big you can always make it smaller if it's too small you can't really make it bigger so oh this is really this will be perfect so i think that this waist is definitely gonna fit me and it's not too long it's like the perfect length for me so maybe i'll wear this this afternoon oh my goodness i love this it's got like really pretty little flowers around the bottom and it's just the perfect length and i love it it's great okay all right box bag it's bag not box it's bag number two okay this one is a this one is just like i wanted to buy a bunch of stuff that was fun for me this is one of the things that i bought when i was sitting there late at night feeding the baby all by myself for hours on end i did a lot of um impulse shopping i actually don't know what this is <gasps> i'm so excited about this i was not expecting it to be so incomplete but it's a glasses holder, so it's got little pieces on the back and I have to put it together. But I got it for Verity because we have a problem with her putting her glasses in different places at bedtime. So I thought if I got her this little kitty cat. I thought if I got her a little kitty cat here, she could put the glasses on the little kitty cat. And let's see if I can figure out how this works. Um, okay, so this looks like it goes there oops maybe um uh, all right we are fitting and then this goes through somehow how i don't know it takes a little finagling yeah i probably should put it through the other side And then this little nose has a thing on the front. And I actually have my glasses here. Okay, so now we're pushing it all the way through. The nose is not wanting to stay out. This is exactly what you guys want to see, is me just exerting all the force here. Okay, so then I've got my glasses here and voila, little kitty is holding my glasses for me. Ta-da! It'll be really cute. I think Bertie's gonna like it. So, okay. Speaking of wearing things, this I told you this was a fun bag. And actually some of these things I was like, you know what, this would be really cool if I just put this on in the middle of my video. This was one of those things. How do I do this? Uh, I think it just goes like, like that. Yeah. How do I do that? Did they send me two of the same? No? No? Like this. Okay. I get it. I think that first one was a fluke. Right. Now I'm all elfy. Great. Okay. So now I've got, this is a bottle cleaner. Uh, because we do have bottles, even though I'm nursing, we do have some bottles. I mean, I'm able to wear these ears the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I'm able to wear these the whole time. So I keep looking up and seeing myself, and oh yeah, I have these ears on. Because they don't feel like they don't feel like ears; they just feel like um, like headsets or something. Um, but these uh, are silicone, and I really love this one that's shaped like a bottle head. Um, cause it's like, you want to be careful not to like poke holes through the tip. Um, but also you want to get it really clean. Okay. So here's this aromatherapy necklace that I bought for myself a long time ago. My kids found the replacement pads that came like a week before this did. Um, and we're messing with them. All right. I have another detangling brush and it's too bad that I wanted to look my best for you guys. So I actually brushed my hair right before this video started, but I can... Try brushing. Ooh, I like the way that one feels. And I know my daughter hasn't brushed her hair today, so. Okay, so I can't brush my hair with the ears in. They are not. This is actually a really nice hairbrush. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, I like this hairbrush. It's like kind of shaped like your head. I don't know, it feels like it, we're still losing the ears. Hey baby, I have a hairbrush for you to try sis. Okay, she's eating, so she'll try it later. We'll see. Okay, these. These are magnetic heating, like self-heating socks. I was intrigued. I don't need socks at all, but I was like, you know what? I want to know what the heck are magnetic self-heating socks. Okay, so they came inside out. I think they came inside out. So do these go inside? I don't, I can't tell. Like these are obvious, like, I mean, they're obviously inside out. So is that supposed to go on? Is this part supposed to go against your foot? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder why they're called magnetic. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's any magnets in them. This is weird. I'm gonna try these, but I don't know how they work now. And I don't really wanna put on these socks. I've been waiting for these too. What are you doing? Go eat your burrito in the kitchen, please. I have several of these. So you remember my headscarf thing? I'm not really good at wearing the headscarf, so I thought that these would be a great transition. So that people get used to me wearing things on my head. I definitely can't do the ears and this at the same time. Maybe this and then the ears. I would get used to wearing things like on my head. And this actually matches this dress really pretty. Like this. And it's just a... But that like definitely is more than just a headband. It's on the scale of like a headscarf, but also it's not huge. It's not like massive covering everything. Okay, so I got a charcoal mask. Um, I am interested to see how this works, see what it does. Um, but I probably am not gonna use it right now. Okay, I got this toy. Um, it is like a Rubik's Cube, I think, but you can like manipulate it. I think the balls are all connected. I mean, so they're connected in certain ways. So like, no, they're each just connected to one ball. So, but only right, like you couldn't make like, I don't think you can make a circle, but you could make lots of fun shapes out of it. So I think part of the puzzle is making it into different shapes, like making it into a cube and making it into a, uh, looks like maybe a pyramid. Here, these are the different shapes that you can do with it. And it's quite fun, actually. It's really lightweight. Uh, my son is asking for it. Okay, I'll let you play with it. Okay, let's see. I don't know what this is. Is it another headband? Might be a headband. It might just be a like a headscarf. I think it's just a little like handkerchief headscarf thing. It's really pretty. It's got little flowers on it. I like it. Can I try it? Can I try it? Verity, I have something for you. This is a lot smaller than I was expecting. <laughs> um, this is what I got for you. It's to hold your glasses. Uh -huh. Do you want to try seeing if your glasses will fit? Yeah. Do we get to hold them on the nose or like this? Put them on the nose. Okay. So I got this because it was supposed to hold milk. I was thinking it would be like a good way to carry it. Because right now I just have this <gasps> massive lunch box. Can, I show, can I show that on my video? Can I show that on my video? Yeah. Not you. Just the, here's a cat holding my daughter's glasses. It is, <laughs> I can confirm, stinking cute. There we go. It's adorable. It can stay on your bed and then you can have a place to put your glasses. Anyway, my plan was to carry milk in these, like... It's like... I was thinking... It says ice bag on here, so I think it's supposed to be insulated. But it's tiny. I was thinking it was supposed to be, like, as big as my head, so it would accommodate maybe a bottle and several bags of milk. But I'll be lucky if I can fit one bag of milk in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but Mommy? I guess I'll find something. Mommy? I have, I have a suspicion now that it's going to be uh, sort of assimilated into my daughter's bags. Mommy? Uh, yes, Virgin. Um, this looks like my shirt that I used to have. 
It goes with the purple skirt. It had shorts with it. Okay, so Verity right now is talking about an outfit that she used to wear when she was two. That is three years ago. Color me impressed. So here is another uh, like larger headband um, to wear. So I mean, I'm really excited about these. This one's not quite as thick as I was hoping, but I that's fine. I'm happy to wear this. This will be very nice. It's very soft. Uh, apparently, I bought a couple, uh, quite a few of these little. Um, actually, I think those. I think these were marketed like. Oh no, this one is just straight up a triangle. Okay, so this one just is like. You just tie it like that. And it's got pretty lace around the edges. It actually is really, really nice. Really pretty. Okay. Got another one like this. Okay. Uh, and this one is, it doesn't, it doesn't have like any decoration or anything like that. It's just, um, it's really pretty actually. And it probably won't even be that noticeable because it'll be brown like my hair. So if I'm trying not to be like in your face, then this one will probably be a really good one. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. And then like if you if you didn't want it like all hanging back, you could probably scrunch it up like on the. I don't know. We'll leave it there for now. I have a pair of shoes. Let's see how they fit. I will try them on. Um, I guess the inside feels kind of nice enough. Let's see. They smell extremely uh, like rubber. They smell like a brand new inflatable swimming pool. Oh, they're comfy. They look nice. Let's cover that. Yeah, they fit really well. This is a size six. So yeah, I'll wear these places. This'll, this'll be a good little slip on shoe for when I have to go out. I tend to forget to take off my house slippers when I leave the house. So having an easy to wear pair of shoes will be very, very nice. Um, especially ones that, I mean, those were really comfortable. Those were really comfortable. Hey. My son, can I show? My son got it into mostly a circle. Look at that. Good job, bud. I'm impressed. <laughs> cool. Let's see, what's this? I think this is a skirt. I don't know how, let's see. If I wear it up high, it comes to above my knee. If I were to wear it lower, like kind of around my waist or hips, it would be, it's pretty long. So it's a, it's a really nice color, this really pretty eggplant color. Um, I like it. Okay. Um, Hello, so this is a bra. Um, and I have one like it, and I know I enjoy, I, I know that that bra is, it fits my qualifications. Hey honey, do you remember when you climb on the table, it shakes the camera? Please stop touching the table. Um, but this, Fits my qualifications where it's got a small enough band to go around me, but large enough cups to accommodate nursing mama boobage. Um, so, that's, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all of these, mostly. What's this? Oh, I remember what this is. Yeah, good job. Hey, stop taking stuff out. Put that back in there. <laughs> he wants me to show you this now. He's got it in like a, a rectangle, so awesome job there. I'm just going to keep showing off all the different shapes that you can put it into. This is a waterproof seat. And I bought this uh, because my son is playing baseball this year. And sometimes bleachers are just not very accommodating in terms of cleanliness or whatever. So this is like a, it's like foam. Um, and it unfolds. This could easily get torn up, but it's pretty big. I mean, look, that, that would accommodate my rear end, my derriere. Um, I got purple because I was thinking of my mom um, using it because she is uh, 
obviously the one to whom this video is addressed. So I was thinking of you, Mom, when I got this uh, purple because you like things very, very tidy and clean. And I love you. So it's got this nice little carry case. So we can pack that and bring it and have it to use at Barlow's next game. Bam. So nice all folded up. Easy to fold up, not a problem. Easy to poke back in the bag. Um, I mean, it's foam, so it's probably, you know, it'll be comfortable enough to sit on for a couple of hours. That'll be good. Okay, so this is another hairbrush. This is a different kind of, I'm gonna take my hair down because this is a different kind of detangling hairbrush. It's got, I don't actually know how this is supposed to work. It's got this thing, and I'm sure this thing is supposed to go inside, but like these are like free moving. So it's supposed to detangle that way. My question is, do these go on the outside? Do they go inside? Like how do they, I was gonna use it, but I don't know how this fits with this. Like obviously it pulls them apart somehow. I don't know how that works with detangling and I will have to get them fitted properly in here. So we probably can't use that properly right now. So I also got a purple mask. Um, once again, purple, thinking of you mom. Uh, this is like an eggplant one. I don't know if there's a difference. Um, I don't know if there's a difference between the two masks, but um, I know charcoal is like super good for cleaning stuff. Uh, I don't know what the eggplant is for. I don't know if I should use both of them. I don't know if you can pick one or the other and they're gonna do essentially the same thing. I don't know. Okay, let's see, what's this? What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a limestone eraser. It's a little, this is a really nice packaging. It comes in a little box. It's a thing, I wanna feel it. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels like an eraser actually, um, but you're supposed to be able to use it and like erase limestone off of like faucets and shower, I, presumably shower <laughs> things and stuff. I'm not giving you this, Barlow. He's like, hey, give it to me. Like, this is a cleaning product, bud. What's this? This is a belt. I declare it to be a belt. Stop. Don't dig in there. Put that back. I like <laughs> I declared there was a belt and I was so wrong. This is one of those gaps. Gap protectors from your stove and your counter. <laughs> I thought it was a belt. Uh, it's got this little thing to like keep it in between the stove and the counter and then you put it on there and your crumbs don't go between and gross your, gross your whole house up. I got two of these, one for each side of the stove. Uh, the other one's in there somewhere. When I pick it up, we'll know it's not a belt. Uh, this is a little spoon for canned goods. So you get your canned good out and you dump it and there's still some around the outside. You can poke this in and just like scoop all it because like got right angles. Actually, it's got a little cat face on it. Uh, it's got a little cat face on it. I don't know if you can see that, uh, which is pretty cute. Anyway, uh, so this is a spoon for cans. Oh dear. We've still got a lot to go. This is my other not a belt. I'm glad I opened that. Otherwise, you guys would have just been like, hey, she got a belt. And I didn't. I did that with some other things, too. There were some, they actually were belts. Uh, and I thought they were curtain tie backs. And they're not the belts. So I've got another headband here. That one's really pretty, gray with pink flowers. Um, I got, oh. What's that? It's, oh, I know what these are. That's not what that's for. Please put it down. So earlier I was wearing the like fleshy kind of ears and these are like, I don't know how to get these on. 
These are, okay, I'll try this one. This one goes, I'm pretty sure this one goes here. Yeah, that one goes there. Uh, I, I think you're supposed to put like your cartilage up in this little like clip part, but like that feels like it would hurt pretty bad. I don't know, like that. No, this goes, this one goes over here. Is that right? I, maybe this one is, no, this is definitely the front, honey. Okay, so they go down low. We're gonna see if I can get these on. I don't... How does, how does it fit on there? How does it fit on there? I, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't make it fit or else it would be on the hose right now, bud. Yeah, the sprinkler that I got and I was like, yay, a sprinkler for my kids. This is not working either. This is just like smooshing. Uh, I think it goes like that and you put your earlobe through this little clip, but I can't get my earlobe through. I think it doesn't want to. I don't, I don't understand. This feels like it should be like, I don't know. It feels like there should be a lot more like fastening work to keep it on. I'm spending way too much time on this. Okay. I will look into how to wear these. Okay. These are just normal earrings. These are threader earrings. I really like the way they look, but I've actually never, I haven't had a lot of success with them. Um, <clears throat> like, they just, I don't know. I lose them or they break or something, but these, like, they just go through your little, little earring hole, which I only have one, which is fine. Oh, that's a weird feeling. And then they hang. That's a really nice look, in my opinion. Yep. Oh, that's a really nice look. Yep, that's a weird feeling for sure. But there we go. Threader earrings. Um, and let's see, I've got a couple more things in here. And I think that's it. And this is a... I think these are more threader earrings. I think both of these are threader, threader earrings. So let's see what they look like. The problem with threader earrings is everything is just everywhere. Okay, I don't remember I don't remember buying these at all. This doesn't seem like this really doesn't seem like my aesthetic. Uh so I don't know what I was thinking when I bought those. Um hoops are not my thing. Uh I don't know why. I just have never really enjoyed hoops. Granted, these hoops are hanging like, you know, two inches below my earlobes still um but they seem nice and then these ones <laughs> let's look at these ones is that really long earrings mama yep they are you're right these ones look like this they're just like little kind of hookies that are dangling and they're pretty i like them a lot so and mom that's my haul so I've got more coming. I've got like four or five more packages coming in the next couple weeks. So that'll be great. Uh, see ya. Click.